So, hello fellow coin collectors and welcome to Goomade and this is Glenn introducing you to the actual large 5 franc coin. So this is the large silver 5 franc coin that was first introduced in 1795 and it was last minted in 1889. Now I've got no idea why they actually did not mint it after 1889 because the 1, 2 franc as well as the half franc were minted up until 1920 and that had an equivalent silver content uh, but with the nominal value so so the actual value of these coins in silver content is $25 each uh, the 2 franc $10 the 1 franc would be $5 and the actual half a franc so here 50 centimeters uh, this one is $2.50 of silver actually in it and this is the actual design that actually replaced, uh, not this design, this was replaced long before. Uh, so this replaced the first uh, Republic design, and this is actually the last design issued in silver. And after this in 1920, 1921er, because these were actually hoarded during the sec First World War, not Second World War, First World War, and you know, hoarding of coins because of uncertainty. So, uh, they actually changed them to base metal coins. And they actually introduced higher valued silver coins. And also inflation actually took off. Uh, so a lot of currencies are pretty much, even though they might have silver coins, they also have paper currency. And the paper currency is what pretty much at this time in the 1920s actually determined the value of the actual currency so here we have a 1845 so this is part of the series that was issued 1844 to 48 so this design was actually issued from i believe 1830s to 1948 uh, 1848 not 1948 god and it has two mint marks one for the mounting uh one for the actual mint i believe and here's the mint mark for the actual um mint itself so this is uh strasbourg and as you can see this one's probably in fine condition it's actually quite well worn or maybe yeah i'd say fine maybe very fine no not very fine and this one has louis philippe Roy des Frances, and he was actually part of the French royal family. So you're probably thinking all the French royal family were actually executed. Uh, that's not the case. A lot of them actually survived. Uh, their descendants are still alive today. They probably still cling on to the uh, illusion that they're actually the king or queen of France, or they should be, but, you know, like they do in Germany. Uh, they still try and cling to the ancient titles. And here we have Empire Frances, so the French Empire, five francs from 1866. There's an anchor, looks like a UFO, I'm not too sure what that mark is. Then we have the actual coat of arms, so it actually has the eagle inside. A lot of pompous stuff. So, and on this side, we have Napoleon III, and... This guy was actually the nephew of Napoleon Bonaparte, whose name is, is uh, oh, that's it, Charles Louis Napoleon Bonaparte. He was actually the first president of the French Republic from 1848-1852, and he was emperor from 1852-1870. That's when uh, the Germans actually, or the Prussians, so they actually took Paris. That's a mint mark there, A4 Paris. So A4 Berlin, A4 Paris. The people from Berlin decided to go visit Paris. Nice coin. Anyway, all jokes aside, so these coins are actually large. In themselves, they're actually worth uh, $50 in silver. And I hold them with my hands because if I hold them with my gloves, I usually drop them because the gloves are really... Uh, they really, you can actually slippery. So you can see, and they actually drop. Uh, but these ones are pretty much just 
um, the minimal value that can actually get them. And if we look at the actual mintages, so you can actually see there's actually quite a lot of different types of coins in the five franc range. And especially under Napoleon the first, uh, a lot of them only existed for a few years. Then we have Louis the 18th, so he's part of the original royal family. And Napoleon came back. And no, we don't want to have a look at him. Oh, let's have a look anyway. So, you know, 25 grams. Oh, I forgot to say. This is 25 grams, 90% silver, so 22 and a half grams of silver. And 37 millimeters. He had been demonetized. And here's the actual mint marks. So you got A for Paris, B for Rouen, W for Strasbourg, D for Lyon, H for La Roche, O for Limoges, K for Bordeaux, L for Bayonne, M for Toulouse, M A for Marseille, Q for Peg Peginon, Peginon. T for Montes, W for Lille. And you like my fancy accent. <laughs> and here we actually have mintages. So as you can see, a lot of mintages are actually quite low. And some of them are actually quite high. So these ones are actually quite, will be quite expensive coins. Uh, this one's probably common. 1817 is probably an easier one to get. If I have 3 million. And... Let's have a look at the actual coins that I have. So, where's the 18? So we need to go to the next page. See, it's actually quite a lot. You've got eight pages. So you've got about 80 coins. And so, well, 1830. So you got actually quite a lot of variety. So I'm actually playing with these coins. So 1844 to 48. And it is the... That will be mint marks, so Strasbourg. And on the side we have Dieu, oops, Dieu protege la France. So God protects France. And I'll put it in here. 2 million and uh, 32,521. So that's the mintage of that coin. It's actually uh, probably in the mid range for these five franc coins. And as you can see, you've got some are actually under a million, under 500,000. So 1947 k that's actually probably a harder one to get. And 948 k as well. So it's a 48A and a 48, 47A. See, 12 million. Then you got 47 Strasbourg, 1.6 million. So it depends on the mint. Most of the coins that you see will be the actual common dates. And yeah, I'll put $45 for very fine um, this is probably fine actually so uh, I probably misgraded it but I would say probably be priced in a 30 to 40 dollar range but we'll have a look it depends on the actual time they actually get them so let's have a look at the actual 1967 coin so as you can see there's a the 48 the French Republic and uh this guy pretty much overthrew that guy. So he got rid of him and he goes, I'm going to become your emperor. You will worship me. So look, that one is beautiful. Pity it's a pattern though. See a lot of pattern coins. So obviously France does have a lot of pattern coins. They're actually quite expensive to buy. And uh, I really I don't have any. Poor me. You also got gold. 1954, they started issuing gold, 5 francs. These actually are quite expensive themselves. So they actually have a bullion value of about $100. So at least four times that. So, uh, but at the time, the equivalent gold value of 1.6 grams. Uh, there'll be 1.5 and 22.5 at the same value. So, oh, we've gone past him. So here we go, 61 to 70. 
demonetized 2005. So if we have a look at the A mint mark, it actually has a mintage of 6 million. So, and here we actually had the Vs of people who actually brought them. So this one's probably VF. Um, def, uh, they put in $30, I reckon. Their price has gone up. These are probably before the actual metal price actually increased. See, this one is actually below metal price. So you're definitely not going to get one for that value uh, and this one's 17 dollars i reckon that they probably purchased that coin probably at least 30 years ago to get a coin at the moment and this one as well you're not going to get them at this price i would say minimum is 30 dollars at the moment and i really don't uh trust the numistar price guide because here you've got a very fine for 20 31 21 and here you got extremely fine for 3117, so less. And you see that all over Numista. And is there any other discrepancies? No, not in this coin. So here's one I have, six and a half million, probably the easiest five franc of Napoleon the third to actually get. And uh also, you can probably get the 69B, 68 double B. And these ones up here are probably the ones you're actually looking for. So 61 to 66. Obviously, quite low mintage. And also, another pattern here. And if you go on Numistar, down below, they actually have a coin. So if you see that, that's in American dollars, okay? Australian dollars, AUD, and then you've got Euro. So 45 bucks. Hmm, nice. So, here we actually come to some coins for sale. So, uh, 45 Lily. Oops, can you see that? $49. Then we have another Lily, $50. If I sort it by... Oh, I do have the lowest. So $50 is pretty much the lowest you actually... Gonna buy most of the coins and they're in uh, probably very fine condition. Uh, and then if you want a better grade, you actually have to go up condition and the price increases substantially. Uh, let's have a look and see what these actually sold for. So let's have a look. So this is actually. So sold items. Okay, as you can see, 35 if you're lucky, you can get them 35, 30, 25. So you can get one for bullion, uh, 41, 34, 35, 37, 38, 39, 40. Now, if I was in the market to buy in these, yeah, 35 is actually quite a good buy, I reckon. Then you've got three, 38. 38. I uh, know oh these are actually different coins. Then you got different actual coins. So then we have the 1867. As you can see, if I put it to lowest first, I like to do that. Uh, oh, I don't know what that is, doesn't look real. Uh, you can see $45. Uh, so pretty much $45, $50. Is what you're paying. Uh, these are postage. I'll bet you that that is actually Numa's Corner. They have a lot of uh, coins for sale. And this is a reproduction. And yeah, this one's EF. No, I reckon that's VF. So you can see, yeah, about $50 you're paying for one of these coins. So that will buy in value. And if we see what people actually pay for them. So, go to sold items again. You can see, yeah, 50, 40. That's in actually good condition. Yeah, extremely fine, yeah? 80. And then you've got some other ones. 28, 33, 32. 30. So a little bit over bullion, 
obviously very few of them actually been sold as bullion this one $17 that's actually a good buy uh, so basically if you're actually going to sell these you need to set a reserve price of at least bullion plus 10% because that's what eBay charges or else you're just going to lose money uh, it's not worth it yeah 40 so about between 40 and 50 you'll be paying for one of these coins so uh, if you're into actual stacking bullion these are actually not the coins to actually go for uh, because the price is actually out of alignment with the actual bullion value so i hope this helps you with the actual french five franc coins are actually quite nice nice beautiful part of history and uh something to look for if you're into purchasing uh, large silver coins so along with the actual crown probably german five marks as well uh, american half no one dollars actually and uh, uh, quite a few other countries that issued the large coins in the past so here i'll leave a video uh, i'll leave some links down below to ebay to French listings and you can actually check them out yourself it's an affiliate link and I get about 3% of any purchase that you help with um, running this channel thank you very much and have an awesome coin and banknote collecting time thank you and goodbye